Isn't she lovely? Yeah, isn't she wonderful? Thank you, Stevie Wonder, for those words. Yep. Loving the car. Today's plan is to fix things. Yep, we're going to take a look inside. We're going to take a look outside. We're going to go below and we're going to fix as many problems as we can on this S600 until Mike gets mad enough and starts throwing tools. We did this last time. We did this last time, Lola. No. Get down. Get down. 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 First thing I want to address is, of course, yep, the radiator hose and the squeaky pulley. Well, we're learning something very important. It's a very valuable lesson, and I knew it when I got into this. No freaking room to work in the car. Yep, you want to fix something as simple as maybe a hose or an idler pulley that's a little squeaky? Well, all this has to come off. You have to get the radiator fan out. To get the radiator fan out, you can either loosen and remove this and drain the radiator fluid and kind of cut your hose right here or you can remove a transmission line or you can try to do both ooh look at those what are those that's kind of cool little puffer fish looking things okay yeah okay go eat that legend but we have it removed we have success and i'm thinking that this guy right here is probably the squeaker Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's that guy. Or is it this guy? Nope. This is good. Dag nabbit. That's the one. Okay. Well, we're learning everything about this v12 monster okay so we ordered the wrong part which is fine did i make a note of how the belt goes no which is fine is the belt it's kind of torn up a little bit right there maybe maybe i, I already have a belt this has already fallen out let's put a new belt on there i think it was like 15 bucks rockauto.com and we're gonna replace the lower radiator hose, which I now have access to, okay? Super easy, it unplugs there and it literally plugs in right here, okay? So that's probably the easiest thing we're gonna to do today. That could be an issue, okay? I decided I was gonna replace this anyway, since I had one, okay? As well as the belt. And I found this kind of hanging, and look. Look what got wrapped up in here. Look at that. How long is this? Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, that could be the source of some of our problems. Oh my God! How the heck, what the heck is that? And how did it get wrapped around there? Yep, these Mercedes, they're the gift they keep on giving. Woo, woo, woo. Continuing work we've replaced, well, we've kind of, uh, lubed these okay i had a thing that puts grease back in the bearings i know they're sealed maybe it'll work for a while maybe not and then we have this one replaced right there too i'll put the cap on that and now we're going to remove the radiator hose which is right there can you see this has easy access once you get these parts out so we'll replace this and then we'll button it up and then my plan of attack here because this is scored a little bit i'm just gonna cut it and make sure that the uh, clamp is on top of this or actually behind it how about that yep how about oh there it is right there now you can see yeah radiator hose is attached so much fun that's the old one there's a little notch that goes right down in there there's a little cross to show you where it goes and this is the part that just popped off that guy right there i don't know why but it did and i don't trust it anymore so we have the new one attached. Out with the old, in with the new. Okay, now we're gonna route the belt. 
Then we will put the fan in, tighten everything up, put our transmission line in right here, see right there. Fill it up with uh, some antifreeze and give her a go. And we've come to almost the end of a day. It's been a good one, right Legend? Yeah, Lola's taking a nap. Legend's been eating everything I throw on the ground. But we've got her all buttoned up. Okay, so we have the new serpentine belt. We have the new lower radiator hose. We have the new idler pulley. We have newly greased other idler pulleys. And we have new antifreeze. So we're gonna give her a start and just make sure Mike didn't screw it up. Let's see what happens. Hopefully she sounds better. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay, well the ABC system certainly decided to kick in. Okay, let's check the coolant level, see what we got. But it sounds good. So much better than before. So much better than before. Yeah, we'll add some more of this. But look, new belt looks good. Hoses are holding. Mike is happy, except for that mess. And while we celebrate one victory, let's go ahead and see if we can grab two, all right? This scares the crap out of me. Okay, so what I did, I pulled this out of here. This is some kind of a funky voodoo witch doctor stuff going on here, okay? I don't like this. I just want to go back to the regular headlights. So I thought, well, what should go there? What kind of fuse should go there? Hmm, if only I had another 220. Oh, <gasps> I do. Yep, I do. So the S55 is going to be our example vehicle. And I've already removed the fuse box cover. This is what we're looking for right here. 15, 15, 40. The 40 goes right there. And we're going to go back to stock. So let's just see what happens when we do this. Thank you for your service. All right, we're back with a 40. We got us a 40. We're just going to put it right in here. Okay, then... What else funky is going on? What is this thing? I don't like that, how it's tapped into that, but I don't like all of this. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's just try to plug in a headlight and just see what happens. Choose a side, left or right, left or right. Right, right it is. Yeah, we got the right headlight, no change. So I'm gonna to have to figure out the wiring on this like I did the wiring on that one, okay? Because you do, you switch a pin and you have to ground something special and then these work. Because these are the same lights. They're the exact same lights as this car. <clears throat> and I just don't remember what I did with the wiring. Okay, yeah. Same lights. This is the ground that I added. And you can see the ground runs there to something. And I just don't remember what it is. So, <clears throat> we got to Google that, and then we'll get it all fixed up. And we did manage to source, like I said, another fuse box cover. So since this is back to stock, we're just going to put this in, say a little prayer, and leave her looking pretty like that. Uh, because this just does not cut it for me. All you got to do is get a 10 millimeter, put it right in here, loosen these things up a little bit, and then scoot it back. That's all you got to do, okay? Then we can bend this tab to where it's supposed to be. Let's kind of scoot you back a little bit, just so you don't, I don't want you to, see? You need to go back a little more. Super easy fix, tighten the bolts, get the little latch to go into here and watch, voila. Look at that, perfectly in the middle, love it. And we've taken care of problems one, four, seven, nine, and 13, or was it two, six, eight, 14, and 27? I don't know, I can't remember. This car has so many problems. <laughs> it's driving me crazy! But I wanna say thank you for watching. I have already recorded two more videos uh, as we continue to fix all things wrong with this car. And it's a good thing I did because Oklahoma weather, being Oklahoma weather, has brought us a little change today. It has been 60 something degrees for the past couple of days, but no longer. Mother Nature brought us a little surprise last night. So as I say goodbye, Say hello to this right here. Yep, here it comes.
You gotta wait for it. You still gotta wait for it. Look at that. Look at all of the snow on those cars right there, folks.